Okay, so let's do some practice problems with what we've just done. Okay, so here we go. So let's suppose we have a uh, domestic or you, let's say we have a one country's uh, quantity demand is given by 100 minus P and their quantity supplied is equal to 20 plus P. All right, now their equilibrium, so equilibrium price with no international trade, right, what's that going to be? Well, to solve for that, we set these two equal to each other. So 100 minus P is equal to 20 plus P. A little bit of algebra, I'm going to subtract 20 and add P to both sides. And that will get us 80 equals to P or a P star equal to 40. Okay. Now, let's suppose the world price were 10. What would their imports be? Well, at a world price of 10, the, um, these domestic consumers want to purchase 100 minus 10, which is equal to 90 units of this good. And at a world price of 10, the quantity supplied is going to be equal to 20 plus 10, which equals 30. Okay, so domestic consumers will be purchasing 90, and domestic producers will be producing 30. 90 minus 30 is equal to 60, and that is the number of imports. Remember, imports are the difference between how many are being bought domestically versus how many are being uh, can, produced domestically. And we can repeat this uh, for various world prices. So we could say, you know, world price of 20 and 30. You can follow similar logic. I'll just give you the answers here. They are 40 and 20. So go through and solve for those on your own. Now a general uh, equation for import demand, remember import demand is equal to quantity demanded minus the quantity supplied. This is all domestic. And in this case, that is equal to 100 minus P minus the quantity of 20 plus P. Now, here's where a lot of people get tripped up. They forget that this minus sign has to distribute to this plus sign here. So this becomes 100 minus P minus 20 minus another P, which is equal to 80 minus 2P. Okay, <clears throat> so that would be the general equation for the import demand curve. Okay, now let's do uh, a foreign market. Okay, so this foreign market, their quantity of demand is equal to 90 minus, let's say, 2P, and their quantity supplied is equal to 60 plus P. Their P star, or their equilibrium price with no international trade, Right, we just do 90 minus 2p, set that equal to 60 plus p. I'll subtract 60 from both sides and add 2p to both sides. That will get me 30 equals 3p. And that means that 10 is equal to p. Oh, sorry, 10 equals 10, well that's true. But 10 is also equal to p in this case. Okay. Now the export supply curve, well, so let's, well, let's start off. So if a world price is equal to 10, is this country going to export anything, right? And the answer is no. At a price of 10, the quantity supplied domestically is exactly equal to the quantity demanded domestically, and there's nothing left to export. So at a price of 10, that implies zero exports, right? 10 and 10. If the world price equals the domestic equilibrium price, no exports at all. But what if the world price is equal to 20? Okay, now at a world price of 20, these consumers will want 90 minus 2, 2 times 20. Okay, that is equal to 50. And the producers will produce 60 plus 20, 
and that is equal to 80. And the exports equal anything that is produced minus what is consumed domestically. And so 80 minus 50 is equal to 30. Okay. And again, you can repeat this uh, for a world price of 30. So if the world price equals 30, this implies that exports equal uh, 60. You can go ahead and check that one on your own. Okay. And a general equation for the export supply curve, remember that's the quantity supplied minus the quantity demand, and these are both in terms of the domestic market, in this case a different country than this case, okay, and that is uh, 60 plus P minus uh, 90 minus 2P, and this was a quantity, okay, <clears throat> and so we have to distribute this minus sign. So that is equal to 60 minus 90 plus P plus 2P, which is equal to uh, 3P minus 30. Right? Or to do this uh, in a, a perhaps more logical way, this is also equal to 60 plus P minus 90 plus 2p, because I distribute this minus sign onto this minus sign, making it a plus sign. Okay? So 60 plus p minus 90 plus 2p is equal to 3p minus 30. So this is the export supply curve. Okay, so now, <coughs> excuse me, now that we have Equations for the import demand curve, which remember was 80 minus 2p, and the export supply curve, which remember uh, from just a second ago was 3p minus 30, we can start to solve for the world market price. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the world price, we just set these two equal to each other. So 80 minus 2p is equal to uh, 3p minus 30. Okay. I'm going to add 2p to both sides and subtract uh, 30. I'm sorry, add 30 to both sides. So that will give me 110 is equal to 5p if I divide both sides by 5. That gets me a price equal to 22. Okay. Now I plug this back in, and this is the world price. I plug this back into either one of these equations, and I should get the quantity of exports and imports. So the quantity of exports on the world market, let's plug it into uh, the demand function first. 80 minus 2 times 22 is equal to 80 minus 44, which is equal to 36. Well, let's just check that on this side. So 3 on the quantity of the export supply curve. So 3 times 22 minus 30. Well, that's equal to 66 minus 30 which is equal to 36. And since these are both equal, we know that we did our math correctly. Okay, so the world price, again, is equal to 22. And the predicted volume of trade is equal to 36. Now, if we wanted to really double check our math, what we could do is plug that world price into these equations here and see if the quantity of imports was equal to 36. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Okay, so uh, in the line here, this is the importing country. 
Okay, in theirs, we had, remember the imports is going to be equal to the quantity demand minus quantity supply, and that was 100 minus P, and the quantity supplied uh, was 20 equals quantity demand, and 20 plus P equals quantity supplied. So let's just plug 22 in here, the world price, and we'll see if the difference or the quantity of imports is going to be equal to this 36 figure here. So 100 minus 22, well that's going to be equal to uh, 78, and 20 plus 22 is going to be equal to 42. Okay, 78, the quantity demanded at that price, minus 42, the quantity supplied at that price, is equal to 36. Okay, so, so far, so good. And this was the, let's do the exporting country. Okay, remember, uh, their quantity demand is equal to 90 minus 2P, and their quantity supplied is equal to 60 plus P. Okay, if P is equal to 22, their quantity demand is equal to 90 minus 2 times 22, and that is 90 minus 44, which is equal to 46. And their quantity supplied is equal to uh, 60 plus 22 which is equal to uh, 82 and again 82 minus 46 is equal to 36 and so there you are you have lots of ways to check and prove that you have gotten the correct answer here okay so at a world price of 22 we predict that imports and exports will both equal 36. We showed that imports will be equal to 36, and we showed that exports are equal to 36. Okay, there is a great set of practice problems for you to work through. I encourage you to try these on your own uh, and maybe make up different numbers and then check your numbers here by doing this importing and exporting country to see if you got the right answers.